is isolation impacting us because there are so many people who are feeling depressed and sad i have felt depressed and sad and just lonely not knowing what to do where to go because this is weird like i get it i get it let's go Hello, it's Nisha Dupuy and today I will be showing you my journey from Jamaica to Anguilla. So as we know, the coronavirus like changed a lot of things about travel and I was the only one on the plane on Caribbean Airlines, in my section of that plane that is. There were other people on the plane but it was just like so I surreal. Know, I to you. I to see you when next to travel. I got to Antigua, got my bags. I traveled with a group of repatriated citizens. It was three of us, a very small group. So we went from Antigua and then we were supposed to catch a charter at about four o'clock, well, 2.30, but we ended up catching it at four to get to Anguilla. And the plan was to drop off some people in Nevis and then send kids. So we got this eight-seater Air Caraib flight uh the pilot right there curtis france um and we're about to go listen this plane is very small so i'm feeling some type of way about it and i'm very skeptical about how this flight is going to go so like i am sitting here but i'm really just making peace with the life i've had so far some other people were trying to comfort me you know just saying that it's going to be fine we're in good hands the pilot got this and they've done this before and the ride is actually pretty cool so <laughs> i don't know i don't know let's let's try this let's see it's in god's hands um i guess right now the only thing we could do is take off because i'm already in the plane i can't like come off it's too late to come off huh i just okay guess we are doing this because we are in motion so i'm going to anguilla where there are zero active cases and there have been thousands of coronavirus cases in jamaica so anguilla is rated on the cdc website as very low risk for travel and they're actually about to do the second phase of reopening their borders this time it will be to tourists but i'm a citizen so i'm going as such oh we're in the air okay oh, this isn't it's, it wasn't it isn't that bad it isn't that bad you get to see everything and i love the idea of being able to see the pilot's cockpit and then just you know looking out at the water and the blue it's so very peaceful and tropical and caribbean and i can see that island we're approaching an island so i'm very optimistic that we will be landing soon so this is where And we landed in Nevis. I wasn't quite sure that was. Yeah, so I was told that that's Nevis and I've never been there before. And then we basically went, um, dropped off one lady in Nevis and it was time to take back off again, um, get to see the blue ocean. And in no time, literally in about eight minutes, just eight minutes of water in between them, we were already back over at St. Kitts now and ready to land in St. Kitts again. St. Kitts and Nevis is actually like um, one country. It's represented as one island, but geographically it's separated. They have the same political um, arrangement though they share politics, they share economics. It's just differentiated by landmass really um st kitts is a bit bigger though a lot more happening on st kitts that's not too bad you get food right no, 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 yeah so it's all good um getting to see these other islands i've been to st kitts already though but still getting to see them was still exciting but at this point i am tired 
honestly i'm tired it's been a long journey since like 9 30 and the views are great but i really want to be on land i want to be on land so bad and then we got to anguilla like finally and it the sun was just about to set it was really beautiful mom sent a taxi for me and i basically just did a coronavirus test and was transported straight to the quarantine facility well i decided to stay um privately so i got like an airbnb situation set up on angola for me and uh that was good because i woke up in the morning the next day i made myself breakfast i had uh an omelette bacon toast with uh swiss and cheddar cheese and perrier lemon water so that was good and uh it was a chill day next morning i got up came to the kitchen yes was getting ready to make breakfast i wanted egg whites and spinach and a side of bacon and i got that with tea and orange juice and perrier water again and that was also a really really good meal i enjoyed it i enjoyed the view and it started to rain on that day so i spent a lot of time just inside editing the video so here we are it's another morning and it's beautiful in angola yes mm gotta stretch it out give it a little jiggle give it some jiggle okay yes girl all right so today i feel like doing something very earthy you know i'm looking um outside and i'm seeing that there is there's potential there is potential for today we're gardening today 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 we're gardening today listen it's another day in quarantine in quarantine And it's another day of quarantine breakfast. This morning we're having a fruit bowl, grapes, uh, raspberries, kiwis, apples, and I put a tamarind ball in there because I Caribbean, so we do what we, oh, uh oh. Okay girl, you know what, just put it down and let's make the rest things. So what happened, I plated and it started to rain, so I had to go run outside grab my eggs grab everything because like as you can see there's like rain droplets on the table so i just had to run and just place it on the dining room table inside like real 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 quick we had breakfast and we're feeling all energized and everything and it's time to look and assess the aloe plant because we're going to plant it now aloe vera is extremely hydrating to hair and i have 4c hair which like hates water so this is like my best friend it looks really crinkly though but i think we can do something with it yes yes we can get it girl you can do this you got this energize yourself energize yourself energize yourself okay now go plant so we're getting a potted plant that was thrown over the gate because i'm in quarantine so i can only get things thrown over the gate or maybe they can leave it somewhere but i can't be in contact with people so right now i just need to find good soil to put this in right and i'm seeing a lot of red dirt but i want something that is not just clay i want something that's not just clay because i need it to be porous and i think i found it with this this soil looks like the real deal this is it right here i thought until i found out that this is cow down and look at me putting that stick down and using my hand to get a nice good scoop of that cow shit it's such a shame like <laughs> that is probably the most embarrassing thing today like i know it was too brown it was too good to be true and i told the owner i was like yo i found some soil and they told me um 
that cow dung i was so ashamed but my nose piercing which i just got has again like it's almost coming out so i have to take a break double wash my hands and try to push this thing back in it's this nose piercing has really been giving me a lot of grief because it just refused to stay in and this is as far as it will go guys like it's not going any further so let's just go back outside and water this plant real quick so we can be done with this oh girl what are you do oh my gosh really nisha really is that how you want <laughs> is that how you water a plant girl you know what you know gardening is not for everyone but i have to say that i tried my best yeah i definitely need a bigger plot pot i need a bigger pot you know i'm done with this today today it is it i am finished with gardening i'm moving on i'm going inside i keep losing the birds <laughs> I'm, you could tell I'm not really good at hair, right? So this is definitely not a hair guru video. We're just talking. I worked in the hotel industry and my mom as well did a bit of like cleaning when she just moved to Angola. She was a cleaner. Um, she used to work in the bank and uh, yeah, she used to clean the school. So I, I saw my mom doing that as a little child, I remember. She would take me from school, like come for me, collect me from school, and she didn't have a car as yet, so we used to have to walk, and I was young, preschool. And hmm, she would put me on her back, and she would like giddy up, she would giddy up. And those memories are just so precious because she worked hard to get to where she needed to be in life. She became a dialysis nurse and now she's about to be the manager of her unit. I mean, you have to be proud when you see someone just continuously elevate. And of course I'm choked out about it because she inspires me good morning today is one of those busier days it's our fifth fourth fourth fifth day of quarantine i don't know i'm losing track so today is friday well, i don't know what day you're watching but today is friday i have an interview um ncu has a tv station um ncu in jamaica in mandeville so they have a tv station and they asked to interview me for that i also have a test for writing workshop three today and yeah so I have an assignment due for like photography. There is absolutely a lot happening on this day. I just need to make sure that I have everything in line so I can function at my best in some way, fit all of those things into today. Um, so I just feel right now to have breakfast and yeah, have breakfast and sort out some of my photography photos and go from there yeah just finished the interview feeling go oh oh wow that is just doing too much now i'm just super tired i need to take a bit of a nap and get up do my test because it takes a lot to communicate and really share energy and stuff so it has been a long day i just finished up uh my test i got 84 and uh, now I'm going to start um, putting aloe in my hair. Um, I'm very tired. I'm really just going to apply the aloe to her hair and then just retwist it. We're all done. Just put it in a plastic bag, tie it up in something so the moisture stays in and put on your head cap and go chill outside and take in the views, sis. Take in the views. We'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning it's another quarantine day it's a quarantine weekend saturday and i have four more days to go i get out on wednesday and i do feel like trapped sometimes very just confined 
but I'm trying my best to figure out how to make it enjoyable so this morning I spent the time just washing my hair getting the aloe vera out of it and then greasing my scalp conditioning my hair making sure that it felt good and then just like protected it I'm just keeping it safe and just let her just marinate in all of the juices and vitamins that I've placed in her that's so important for 4c hair today I am going to be exercising with Shara and I'm so excited about that because I haven't exercised in a while and I don't like the process of like feeling the pain but I enjoy the results of a good workout and I love working out with Shara because she's an Olympian like there's no better person to work out with than a professional athlete oh right so we're gonna do some like I will be outdoors I'm sure she'll be indoors and I'll work out on the balcony I think or if it gets too hot I'll just I may have to use the room I may have to I'll figure it out when it's get, when it, I get to that point and you will see what I decide to do but right now I'm hungry so I'm going to have breakfast I'm not sure how the rest of the day will go um we'll do that we'll we'll discover that I think I'm feeling like chilling like watching a show and reviewing it with you Oh, oh, I forgot to say comment below what you think of this so far because we're coming to the end of this video like as you can see this is almost the end of this video I may do a part two but I'm not sure and I want to know what you think about quarantine have you been in quarantine or a family member how did you cope what did you do because you really do have to find ways to stimulate yourself when you're just by yourself in a house oh coronavirus is just so weird but you know there are so many people who are losing their lives worldwide we have to just be grateful for life and we choose wellness we choose wellness but we have to also think about our mental health not just the virus but how is isolation impacting us because there are so many people who are feeling depressed and sad i have felt depressed and sad and just lonely not knowing what to do where to go because this is weird like i get it i get it on that note i probably will read ask and it's given because sometimes when you just sit and read it helps to calm your mind so we're going to try that hi shara Hello, Nisha. How are you today? Okay, you sound real formal. Very formal. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> We're gonna work out soon, um, but you have some questions for me, please. I do. I want to do a little segment so your viewers can get a little bit of insight into Nisha. But seeing you as an interviewer is just so interesting. Are you ready for the next question? Okay, how ready? Like ready, ready, ready. Okay. Is Nisha single? <laughs> oh, maybe you didn't hear me the first time. Is Nisha single? I'm definitely attached. Okay. But Okay, all right, we'll leave it there. Thank you. So another question on a lighter note. If you ever or when you ever rather meet Oprah, what would be the first question you would ask her? Wow. I would want to know from Oprah how she's able to remain so grounded. Like, no matter how much success she has, she's still very, very relatable. I don't know if that would be the first question. Maybe it'd be like, how are you? You know, did you have a good day? But that would definitely be something I would want to slip in if we had a conversation, when we have a conversation. Okay. All right, that's fair. Okay. Uh, one Another question is, if you... 
if you had to be a professional athlete for a week, what sport would you choose to be a professional? Um, I would want to do 100 meters for sure. I know you do long jobs and that's fun, but I feel like I would have made a for a great sprint. Um, like, what would you do? This is not a, a, a shower interview session. However, I'll answer the question. So, if it, I'll choose triple jump. No jumping at all. If it oh. wasn't any oh. jumping. Ah, uh, ooh, that's a good question because I hate running. I cannot do distance. My lungs won't allow me. Okay. I can't. I refuse to do pole vault because I like my life. <laughs> I am, look at my arms. I cannot do any throwing. It's so true. the next best thing for me would be a hundred meters. A hundred meters. Same. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Great at tennis, like you, you are so great. You refuse to play with me. I am not so great, uh, but I am. I'm okay in tennis. I can hold a rally, and I told you next time. I got you. What you had said was all right. All right. So it's a quarantine Saturday, and today we're exercising. So what are we going to be working on today? So we, we will do a little bit of everything. Um, we will do circuits. That's the quickest way to get some blood flow, you know, um, your heart racing. And plus you get some exercise and some work the muscles. We'll do a little bit of blood. We'll do some upper body, a little bit of everything. You'll see. By the way, you're an excellent interviewer. Thank you for those insights. Thank you. For that interview wrong, but I just want to tell you, don't think you got away, Shara. The next time you do a video, it's the I can't hear. Oh wow! I <gasps> <laughs> I said, um, you made for an excellent interview. Wait, did you really hear? Are you playing? I heard it. So anytime you exercise, you have to warm up the muscles or else it causes injuries. All right, so let's do a little bit of uh, warming up. All right, so what we'll do some jumping jacks. Just follow my lead, okay? Four, 
Like I feel like I already started putting in some good work. That's what the aim was. Good job. You've made it to the end of this video and that means so much. Thank you for watching. You know that I typically do a different type of content, but I wanted to explore with like a vlog and see if you like it. So if you do, talk to me. Comment below and let me know. Subscribe to my channel because I want to create more videos, whether it's vlogs or interviews. And I like doing that when you're a part of the community. That's what makes it possible and what makes it exciting. You can also help me by sharing this video with people, friends, family, your Instagram, Facebook pages, because that really helps me as a content creator. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.